Hello and welcome along to another edition of the Andrew Eborn Show, where today I'm delighted that my guest is Nick Jordan. How are you, Nick? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay, thank you. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I mean, I, I, I've, um, you know, as as you know, I've I've been in a bit of a state of a emotional crisis, um, and uh, you know, so I'm probably here to talk about mental health issues um, and um, uh, and that kind of thing, you know. Um, but um, but look, you know, yeah, look, I've, I've I've been a lot worse before, so I'm I'm okay, and it's good, it's good to be on the show. And thank you for inviting me. Well, well one of, one of the great things, Nick, and I, I've been reading your posts and your blogs and the various sites that you set up, and it's very empowering. Firstly, that people are brave enough to talk about their own experiences, but as you say, it helps others because many people are going struggling with the same demons. And to get whatever advice or share somebody else's journey means they're not doing it alone, which which has got to be a good start, doesn't it? Yeah, well, that's right, and I, I think that's one of the things that we, when I say we, I talk about you know depressives and addicts, and uh, you know I, I'm, I'm an alcoholic, certainly I'm a recovering alcoholic, and um, 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 it, it, is is you feel very alone, you you, you can feel very alone, and. Um, which is crazy because there's a whole world of us out there, you know. And um, uh, but but you 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 are you are a little bit crazy, you know. That's that's part of the problem, you know. You, you you've uh, I, I I don't I don't use crazy in a pejorative term, by the way. I, I I just I just I just mean it that we, you know, we 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 we, we can all we 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 can all feel a bit lost at times and. Um, and and it's really important, therefore, to to to, to do what you do, you know, uh, which which is to reach out, which is to reach out to people like us. Mm. Uh, and it's really it's really important for me to talk about it. I mean, one of the things that has kept me sober and sane over the years is um, is just being very honest about it and writing and speaking publicly about about what 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 happens, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, and that's what I'm doing now. So. Yeah, and, and I think, as I say, it's very, very powerful. And, and, and the posts and the blogs and the feedbacks that you have are tremendous. But you're, you're currently in, in Australia, New South Wales. Uh, as people who are wise to the show will recognise, that's not a New South Wales accent. So, yeah. no, no, well, no, I'm English. I, 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 I'm, I'm as English as... Um, I'm, I'm as English as... I was about to say the Queen, but I'm not, I'm not sure how English she is, really. But, um, <laughs> yeah, no... <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm an English person, yeah. I, I've lived here. I've lived here for six years, um, and um, y you know th that's that's been a mixed bag of experiences. I ca I came over here with my Australian wife, um, and, and 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 you know, all all good. I love Australia, but um, yeah, well, well, I mean, we, we we ended up getting divorced and and that, and that kind of stuff. So it, it, I, it's. I, I, well, and the other, the other, the other thing as well, Nick, is I means looking at where you've been in your life. You've been to some extraordinary places. Talk, talk us through. I mean, you, you were born over here in in England. Talk, talk us through that journey because that took you to to a number of other countries uh, around the world and spending little pockets of time there. Talk, talk us through the, that, those sort of stages. Well, I was, uh, you know, I, I was actually born in the states, you know. Um, um, so th th there's that, you know. My my, my father is American. Um, uh, and then my, my parents separated and then she, you know, my mum brought me over to the UK uh, where, where, you know, I count myself as English, obviously. And, um, you know, and I've been, look, I've been lucky enough to travel the world, you know, either through business or pleasure. Um, um, well, I, I can't even begin to list the countries. I, I, I don't know. But, um, but you know, it it's... Um, it, it's made me a kind of um, citizen of the world, I suppose, and uh, <laughs> you know, and um, and that's something I'm very proud of. Um, and you know, I, I, I currently reside in Australia. I reside here for for my um, for my son. You know, I, I, I live here. For, I've decided to stay here for, because of, I have a son here. Um, uh, uh, and that kind of thing, you know. Uh, 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 I, I feel at home wherever I, wherever I uh, lay my hat. 
That, that wonderful, what the wonderful classic song, absolutely. But it is, as I say, it is that extraordinary journey. And I mean, as a part of that journey, not not just a, a physical journey and seeing different countries around the world, it's also been an emotional journey. And um, when did you realise that you were having issues that you had to deal with? Yeah, good question. Well, I, look, I, I suppose in terms of alcoholism, um, then I, you know, I, 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 I suppose it, it, it became uh, an issue, for, I don't know, about five years ago, I suppose. Um, I was always the guy to have, a, have too much of a drink, right? You know, um, so, I mean, that, that was long established. You, you know, I've, I've always had an abusive relationship with alcohol, if, if I was to be honest, you know, and, um, you know, my, my mother was an alcoholic, sadly. And, um, and, and you know, the, the first time I ever had a drink, I got spectacularly drunk. I got paralytically drunk, you know, I was about 14 in the woods with my mates, you know, and um, <laughs> um, they, they had a few beers and I, I had a lot more. But um, so, so there was that. But um, but it was never, you know, and a, a therapist will tell you this: that the, the um, addiction is a is is a thing that it, it's a repeated cycle that keeps doing harm to your life that you keep doing, you know, that you but that you you can't seem to stop. Um, and I and I suppose that that started to become an issue about four or five years ago when I when I moved to Australia is um I, f I found it very difficult to um get a job for instance i'd, I'd always had good jobs uh, you know i'm a professional person and um you, you know suddenly suddenly it became very difficult and uh, and and you do you do what an alcoholic does which is you you reach for a, a bottle unfortunately and um you know yeah I mean, and so I, I would say about five years ago, and it's then that I started to reach out for help. You know, I, I started to go f to meetings of Alcoholics Anonymous, for instance. I started to, uh, um, uh, you know, see a psychologist and, 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 and stuff like that. So, you know, it, it was then it became apparent that, uh, you know, and, and my marriage started to really struggle, you know, and it's not, it's not my wife's fault at all, um, but, it, but, it, but, but it became, it became apparent that, um, um, yeah, well, things were becoming very, very difficult. Yeah, yeah. And, and was there a particular moment that you you realised? I mean, as you say, so often these things, it's it's a slow descent. You have a, a party, as you say, you, you work professionally. Um, you're a media consultant and writer and and various other things as well. Um, yes. And it's the very industry means that you're out partying and celebrating being the life and the soul of the party so you're surrounded by temptation all of the time aren't you well you are yeah no that's a good point i mean I, I, and i always was you know i mean back back in the day i mean it, oh, i mean it's 20 years ago now but you know i was a magazine editor and uh, and things like that and yes you know to be frank I, you're surrounded by drink and drugs and 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 the party lifestyle and the ego you know that goes that goes with those things um and you know i was a successful writer and uh, all this kind of stuff and it, and, and and you sort of um you, you yeah i mean you you, you quickly walk into <laughs> into a number of into a number of uh, a number of traps and um and I, I think that's got something to do with with your with ego you know I mean, i'm not i'm not an expert on this matter but um you know as, a, as an alcoholic you know i mean we 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 talk about our ego quite a lot um, and the size of it and um yeah <laughs> and um yeah so yeah i mean i mean it's perhaps not the ideal profession for someone who is um is like i am but but but, but on the other hand mate you know i, I you know, I, I am who I am. I, I am a writer. You know, I, I, can, I can only be that person. You know, I, I, um, so I, I sort of somehow have to learn to conquer those demons uh, as well, um, because I can only be the person I can be. You know, if that makes sense. And, and oh, absolutely. And, and there are a lot of people in in the profession, as, as you know, we set up canned laughter. It's okay not to be okay because of various people in in the entertainment profession in particular. Um, and yeah. those in the media who have uh, pressures in, in terms of not just their career, but 
being surrounded yeah. all the time by that 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 sort of side. Are you giving us a tour of your your room? Oh, there you yeah, go. sorry, no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's okay. um, I, I mean, it, is, it is surrounded all the time by by those sort of pressures, and uh, lots of the people we have on the show say that there was a particular moment when they had um, there was a catalyst, if you like, that road to Damascus when they realised they needed help, and had, uh, where people have woken up after an audition or whatever and had no idea what what they were doing, and they've woken up somewhere um, where they didn't know they were supposed to be, and uh, and and relationships suffer and so on and so forth, and so often there is a, a catalyst. For people what was was there that road to damascus uh, for you yeah yeah i mean good good way well, look it's a good it's it's a good question i i, I mean okay so la last year the, the, there was um so last may for instance i was home i i i, I because my marriage had broken down and, and this kind of kind of stuff i i ended up literally homeless and, and, and when i say homeless i mean living in shop doorways in parks um and that kind of stuff um and some friends in britain became aware of, of what was happening and they and they they crowdfunded they crowdfunded support they, they raised thousands of dollars and i um you know i ended up in private rehab uh, which helped uh, hugely um and um you know, I, th I, th I think that was, for me, that was rock bottom. When you when you are living on, to be frank, when you're living on the beach or the park, you know, you are you you've pretty much hit rock bottom, right? You, 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 you've there's there's nowhere there's nowhere further left down to go, you know. And um, I mean, uh, Alcoholics Anonymous, we 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 say that there are you know that you. you you face institutionalization, incarceration, or death. And, um, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I was facing all those things, to be honest. And um, so, yeah, I, I, I was saved, you know, I was saved by the kindness of, 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 of strangers, the kindness of friends, and, um, and what have you. Um, so that was my Damascus, you know, that was my moment where I realized, Nick, you need to, um, you, you, you need to sort this out somehow. Yeah. And, and talking about sorting things out, and you have your, your website, Deep Sober, where you share a lot of your personal experiences and, and, and your own journey about helping to sort things out. And a lot of it, as you, as you frankly say, you're, you're not an expert in this, you're not following a particular route, you're not advocating a particular way of doing things, although you, you give a shout out to those resources and that, that's really important. But sharing yeah. that personal experience and saying, okay, these are the moments. I mean, you talk today, for example, about the lies and how you have to, uh, when you talk about the lying when you're an addict and how lying can basically mm. take over your whole life. Yeah. Well, that's it. I mean, I, I think that's the thing. I think that's the thing, you know, when, when, you're, when, you're, when you're an addict, you become a uh, fun, you're living a lie, you know, you become fundamentally dishonest. And, um, and um, because all you care about is the next drink or drug or gamble or whatever it is that you're addicted to and it, it um it dominates your life you know and, and 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 so i think that you you know we we lie to ourselves first of all most importantly we we lie to our friends we lie to our employers we lie to anybody and um you know i i you know no one wants to think of themselves as a liar you know, we, we, we all want to believe that we're honest people and we, 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 we fundamentally are, right? But, um, y you know, I, th I, th I think it's really, really important that we, that we face up to um, our lie, um, the, the, the lie that we're living, uh, and, and fundamentally important that we, we address it, you know, and that we become honest. Um, and how we, do, how we do that? Well, you know, there are many ways, but... You know, I think I think that's really important. Honesty, honesty is the beginning of recovery. And I think it's also recognizing that pattern because there there are several people affected. They say it's like uh, uh, many illnesses and addictions and challenges. It's not just the person themselves, but also there's that ripple effect for friends, family, uh, of colleagues. Of course, yeah, uh, yeah. 
Yeah. And I think it's sharing, it's, as you say, about sharing those sort of stories. And it, it's talking about coping mechanisms. There are professional resources, and you wisely mentioned lots of those on uh, your own site. And there are lots of other resources yes. for those. So talking about how you personally coped with that. I mean, did you, how old's your son? Well, he's eight. Um, he's, talk he's eight. Talk about that, that relationship, because obviously he's lived through probably some of your, your darkest moments. Well, he has. I mean, uh, I, I suppose one one of the things I do with 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 my kid is, um, I mean, I, I was brought up I was brought up by an alcoholic as well, right? So, um, is how can I say this? I don't I don't condemn her even for a second, you know, because she struggled. She she was she was a, a decent person who just struggled with with alcoholism right but um but I'm, I'm i'm trying not to make the same mistakes you know so i i had to i had to witness that every day you know and uh and to and to witness a drunken parent is um it's it's, it's hell it's hell on earth you know and um so what i do is um you know in 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 league with his uh with his mum is uh we we agree that i i avoid those situations you know I, 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 I for the time it's it's better for me to not talk to him you know uh, it's better for me to not see him uh, if, if I've had a drink you know uh, and that's, that's the agreement we have in place you know it's, it's a legal agreement but it's also a moral agreement you know because um, you know the last thing he needs to see is a, is a drunken father and um, and, uh, and um, they're really I mean it, you know it pains me to, you know cuts cuts me to the core to, to to think like that but um but 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 it's necessary you know it's absolutely necessary because um he deserves better i i deserve better you know she deserves better you know we 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 we, we all do and um that that's how i that that's how i deal with it yeah and, and do you i mean at eight they're, they're pretty wise to the world they, they all say show me a child till the age of four, I'll show you the man. I mean, have you had conversations with your son about it? Yeah, I, I have. And I, you know, what I've told him is that, um, is I, I've, I've compared it to just sweets or candy or whatever, whatever you want to call it is, is, is I've said, I said this to him, I said, how, how, how do you feel if you eat, you know, a few sweets how, how how do you feel and he says i feel great you know and, I, and then i've said um how do you feel if you eat six bags of sweets and he said i well, i feel sick and I, I i said well that that's how i feel if i if i have a glass of wine for instance is that um it is is that i said i, I you know I, I feel very sick and i feel very sad and um and and it, it, it's important that I don't do it um, because it's it's kind of poisonous. So we, uh, what, 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 what we've agreed to do is not give it a name, a label. So we don't we don't call it alcoholism. Uh, what we, we we simply call it, um, y you know, the the thing I do, <laughs> and, um, and 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 he understood. He, under, he understood that you know I, I i think it's important with children to be honest but um you know they, they are as you say they are perceptive they're super smart but um you know you kind of need to couch it in language that is um you know uh, age appropriate simple yeah so that, that's how that's how we talk about it yeah and, and, and he knows i mean he knows he, he he you know he asks daddy daddy have you have you had a drink today? You know, and I, I'm always honest with him uh, because honesty is critical with children. Um, but uh, but uh, I think I think age appropriate language is also critical. And, and as you say, there is that um, it's the pattern, and they always say that people follow the pattern of their parents, and they look up because they're the first ro role models, and it's being conscious yes. of that. And where where you start seeing these patterns, I mean, how how are the best ways i mean it's tricky because it's an ongoing struggle but what are, what are the ways that you found have helped break that circle of destruction um 
Well, on, honesty, I think is 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 the, on honesty is the key. You know, um, so uh, the, the, there's something I've, I've learned very very importantly in therapy, and that that is the power of vulnerability, and 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 just you know, be be honest, be vulnerable, be say I'm I'm an alcoholic, I'm an addict, I, I'm a, I'm I'm depressed, I'm I need help. I need help, you know, um, and I and I and, and pe people respond brilliantly. They, they they respond in ways that you 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 you, you can't even imagine. You know, excuse me, I'm, I'm just getting a bit emotional here because people people will will come back at you with 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 their own honesty, with their own vulnerability, with their own decency um so I, I think that's i think that's that's one way out out of the path of self-destruction is it, it, is to simply say this is who i am you know you know i i i have a self-destructive streak i don't know why it doesn't some ways it doesn't matter you know um I, I, some some days i hate I, I hate myself not always not always by any means but um and and and, and just just say that you know just say it I think that's the I think that's the way forward. I think that's the way forward. And there are a few people, uh, well, several people, Nick, who'll be watching this and saying, um, well, firstly, either they themselves recognise that through your sharing experiences, they themselves have an issue and should try and get help. And there will also be others who'll be saying, look, there's somebody in their lives, whether it's their partner, their father, their, their mother, or whatever, who has similar sort yes. of. What yes. advice would you give, firstly, to maybe the person who can see somebody in their lives who is having challenges with addiction? What, what advice would you give them? Well, I mean, my my first advice is that you, you need you need help y y yourself. You know, um, um, you, you can't you you can't um, if you're if you're the if you're the if you're the partner or friend or or whatever or family member of of someone who is you know self-destructive then you need help yourself and um you know I, my first advice would be to go to someone like Al-Anon or Alateen or um you don't because because you you can't do this you can't do this alone either you know um I I wish when I when I was 14 you know I'm struggling with my mum's alcoholism I wish I knew about Al-Anon I wish I knew about Al-Anon because you, 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 you know, trying to do this on your own will, will destroy you as well. You know, the, 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 your friends, family, whatever, al their, their alcoholism, their depression, their, their suicidalness, it will, it will kill them. It will kill them. Um, but it will kill you too. And um, this is a, you know, I, I feel so passionate about this because this this is a fundamental truth you know you you must seek help for yourself even if it means going to the doctor you know and, and saying my dad's an alcoholic or my, my, my husband or my wife or whatever um you must seek help yourself because it, it, it will kill you too and, and I guess, and it's again, and it's very brave of you to share this, and, and helps a lot of people. And hopefully, I mean, it's it's. I've read a lot of your own writings where you're very open and honest about your own experiences. So yeah. often, people themselves don't have that self-realization yet, but those within their family or their community or their friends recognize that somebody has a problem. And how do you then persuade them to get help? People talk about intervention and so on and so forth. What would you say to them? What do I say to the relatives? Yeah. So some, some, somebody within the family or a friend or somebody close at work, you can see there is this pattern of destruction, but that person themselves has not yet realized that they have a problem. How, how no. can you assist? Get... get, get uh, you, you have to get help. You know, it's, it's vital. It's 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 vitally important. I I, I you know, call a, call a doctor. Call, call an ambulance. I mean, I, honestly, it's it's that it's that urgent because we are you know we 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 are all 
uh, worthy of more than this you know so um it will drag it will drag you down to it it, it it will destroy you just as a like a i don't mean to sound too dramatic but it it will it will kill you like a bullet to the head and um he, 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 you know if 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 anyone is struggling like this i i, I would say I, I would say just call 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 your doctor Go make 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 an appointment with your g p now do it now you know uh, and 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 sort this thing out because um you, you know your 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 friend or your your partner's illness is so destructive to them it it will destroy your life too it's as simple as that and in terms of your own journey and people themselves so once once you have the realization and you, you realize as you say uh, a little while back that you had an issue how what coping mechanisms have you found to be beneficial well you know good 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 question i mean i've, I've what i've found is that um I know it's all the rage, but um, but bear with me. But things like mindfulness are are, are very helpful. So you know, uh, or, or mind, mindful breathing, for instance, um, um, using apps on your phone. You know, the, the mindful apps. Is, there's a thousand of them out there. Um, speak speaking to people, you know, um, it, it, it is vital. Um, I did don't hesitate to do that and don't hesitate to be embarrassed you know just just it it doesn't matter <laughs> really <laughs> because pe people do care actually you know even if you're calling the samaritans or whatever the, the even that simple process will will calm you down you know there there are psychosomatic responses in the brain you know that that will will, will help you um i i personally find mindful um considerations very helpful uh that's what i've found in the past um but also don't don't be afraid to reach out to your doctor you know um that, that they they can give you medication they they can they can su suggest psychological techniques that will that will sort you out um so yeah th th those are the things i've done and uh, and have genuinely helped me yeah and also, I mean, social media, it can be and both a, a force for bad, but also and people always focus on the bad stuff. But it can be a force for good. And I, I see your various posts yes. and the, the love and support that you get from your own Facebook friends. Um, that's, yes. You must have found that comforting. I, I, ha I have. Uh, I, and and I, I'm, I'm very, uh, you know, I'm super lucky. I mean, I, I write about it, obviously, on my website deepcyber.com which i just want to give a quick plug well, for no, I'll, I'll keep plugging it i've mentioned it a few times deepcyber.com we're putting it in the, in the <laughs> section so people should read it Deep Cyber. and very powerful yes yeah. very helpful thank you but um but yeah yeah look i mean my my, my friends have been uh, wonderful uh, and, and again don't hesitate to use social media i mean we, we we you know we we moan about it we nag about it and and rightly so in some reasons but um but you know if you are struggling reach, reach out say say something I, d I did you know i did the other day that's why we're talking now right well, I've um, been been friends on facebook for some time and i saw your post today about lies and that uh, cycle of uh well, descending cycle of deception and and i yeah. think breaking that and talking about that is very very powerful and it's been particularly difficult times i mean how how have you coped in, in lockdown? I mean, it's obviously slightly different in Australia. We, I, I've been talking to people around the world. But firstly, tell me what the rules were in where you were. Uh, because you're in New South Wales, aren't you? Uh, well, no, I'm, I'm in Queensland at the moment. Queensland. Um, and, and, yeah, Queen, Queensland has a um, particularly strict lockdown situation, um, which has, well, which has helped. I mean, I, I moaned about it at first, but it, it, it um, I mean, you know, we've had very, very few cases of, of COVID. So, you know, whatever, it works. And um, the government have been very supportive. Um, I, 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 I think that um, other, other states like Victoria, you know, I, 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 I don't want to comment too much on politics, but they, they, they've struggled. They've, they've, they've struggled a great deal, um, you know, and we, we, 
we wish them well as our, as our, our cousins and friends. But, um, but you know, look, Queensland, Queensland has been good. I mean, you know, the border situation is tough, but um, you, you, you do have to show your pass and it's a bit sort of, I don't know, totalitarian. <laughs> but on the other hand, it's, it's, it, it seems to be working, so. But I, I think the the other point that, that I, was, I was making is that I, a lot of it means that when you do have lockdown, people feel more isolated and they feel yes. more alone. It becomes more of a struggle. How how did you find it? Um, yeah, well, I mean, I think the lockdown was was tough. I mean, I mean, I, I did spend a lot of the lockdown in um, in, in rehab actually, um, so that made it a lot easier, you know, and, and, you know, a rehab being a rehab, they, they had strict protocols around, you know, uh, 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 around, uh, around safety and around access and, uh, and, uh, and what have you. So, so I was in a perfect place really. Um, uh, but, um, but yeah, look, I mean, it's been difficult. I mean, it, it, you know, we, we've all experienced isolation. We've all experienced uh, loneliness. I, was, I wasn't able to see my girlfriend for three months, for instance. And, um, you know, I mean, you know, it, it's tough. It, it, it is tough. On the other hand, it kept me away from alcohol, <laughs> so, to be honest. So, um, you know... So how how does I mean lockdown? I mean people talk about different environments and so on and so on. Being locked down in the house is uh, uh, is one particular challenge. But how how was lockdown in rehab? Talk to me about that. How was lockdown in rehab? Well, I mean it was. Um, yeah, I mean it was. Well, I mean the rehab I was at was um, was was particularly um, uh, remote. So. Um, you know, we, we were we were stuck, literally stuck out in the in the, in the valley, um, um, a, a very beautiful part of the world indeed, um, and, and and you know it was guarded. You know, it was guarded. I mean, you know, people come in were were temperature tested. Were, were you know um hand washing and <laughs> what have you and um and very limited to 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 who we could see um and we weren't allowed out you know i mean normally in a rehab like that we 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 would be you know go to the beach or go surfing or, or do whatever you know australian rehab people do but um but it was um you know, all all that was stopped. All that was stopped, and 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 they they did a brilliant, a brilliant job actually. You know, um, you know they, they have an on-site medical team, um, and um, you know they 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 kept us locked down. You know, well, yeah, best I can say. It's not, I mean, uh, rehab sounds. Uh, um, I mean, in the Australian approach, as you say, with the water sports and various other things, it's it's uh, it's it's a good place to be, Australia generally, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. It is, and it's um, yeah, yes. Uh, and I and I think in terms of in terms of what what's happened over over rehab, you know, over sorry, excuse me, lockdown is um, the, I think the government have been very responsible. Actually, I think they 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 they've done a good job. You know, they they you know I I can't criticise them. I don't, I don't I don't vote for them particularly, but it, it's um, it's uh, the, the the you know I I can't criticise their their response, no, not at all. And it is extraordinary when you see around the world. I mean, your your neighbour in New Zealand, the Prime Minister there, and I mean, she she became one of the world's heroes. I think in in terms of her. She did. <laughs> Saint Saint Jacinda. Well, she did. I mean, you know, and um, and you know, fair fair play to them. I mean, I think they had a slightly easier job of it, you know, given the size of the country. But look, you know, fair play. She she did a great job. Yeah, absolutely. Well, 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 what I loved is Saint Jacinda was doing a, that, that press conference. To me, was that the highlight of one of the events in the press conference, being wonderfully positive about all sorts. And there was an earthquake going on, and she was just <laughs> <all the people. laughs> She, she she's had to cop a she's had to cop quite a lot lately. <laughs> that's, that's right. No, look, she's done a great job. She's done a great job. Yeah, oh, fantastic. Uh, Nick, it, it's such a joy to catch up. Um, do stay in yeah. touch, and I, I'd love to have you back and share your experience because I know so many people do benefit from that. People should go along to deepsober.com. Um, check out lots of the stories there. There are lots of resources there as well. Um, and Please I know do. 
we're very happy to share your experience and thank you so much for being my guest today uh, thank you so much for talking to me i really appreciate it take All care right. please stay okay take Bye. care you too so thank you very much indeed to Nick Jordan. Uh, if you are affected by any of the issues involved, do seek help. There are lots of resources out there. You are not alone. There are lots of people who are struggling in similar situations. And uh, do check out the website, deepsober.com, www.deepsober.com. And if you'd like to be a guest on the show, you want to share your own experiences, or you have any views on any of the things that we've been touching, uh, please feel free to contact me at guests at octopustv.com. In the meantime, uh, thank you again to Nick and thank you for joining me. I've been Andrew Ebon. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.